These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. <clears throat> All right, what's up everybody? Grim Green back here. Today I'm going to try to answer the question that has been easily the most asked question like in comments and across social media of the last like two years and that is the question of why doesn't the pod that I bought taste like my favorite disposable. I think there are a lot of factors in this and we're gonna go over all of them that I could possibly think of. A and probably the most important is that the big disposable manufacturers like Elf Bar and Lost Mary, their flavors are exclusive to them. They have their own flavorings that literally nobody else has. Some e-liquid DIYers and some e-liquid manufacturers are pretty good at cloning recipes, but they're never going to be like the exact same recipes. So that's A. Two is iced out. All disposables that I've come across in recent memory have some sort of cooling aspect to them, whether that's menthol or culotta or WS-23, these are all just e-liquid ingredients, there's some sort of cooling sensation to them and that's what kind of leads to the feeling of a disposable. That's one thing that you actually can get in a pod is an e-liquid that has been Iced. C is disposables just tend to be over flavored deliberately and rely heavily, heavily, heavily on sweeteners. Sweeteners in e-liquids tend to destroy the coil, which is why bottle e-liquid manufacturers try to stay away from it or use it as sparingly as possible because these types of pods and coils we try to get to last a much longer time. But inside of a disposable, you can pack this with over flavorings and sweeteners and it doesn't matter if the coil gets gunky because you're only using it once. Shouldn't have dropped that. Reason four, I think, is generally the people that use disposables are people who have either freshly or recently quit smoking or who are in the process of quitting smoking, what we would call the dreaded dual user. Smoking destroys your senses and these are over flavored for a reason. So someone who has been smoking cigarettes and has had their senses destroyed can taste what's happening inside of a disposable. That person who is quitting or is in the process of quitting is going from using a disposable, which is oversweetened and over flavored to a pod system, which isn't necessarily over sweetened and over flavored. This is going to taste substantially less flavorful. As someone smokes less and vapes more, your senses suddenly come back. You can taste things again, smell things again. It's a, it's a magical thing. And the last reason is they kind of just don't. You can get pretty close with some pretty sweet iced out e-liquids, but I have yet to have a pod come across my desk that vapes exactly and tastes exactly like a disposable does really very close and honestly in my humble opinion far superior but twins they are not those are i think all of the reasons i can think of my only advice would be use whatever keeps you off of cigarettes and as you smoke less and vape more your sense of taste and sense of smell will come back and then it might be time to try out a pod just I mean, just for the cost savings alone. Also, just a real quick reminder that disposables wouldn't even exist on the market if our own FDA hadn't completely banned flavored pre-filled pods for vapes. True facts. Let me take this moment to say that if you are currently a, a cigarette smoker, hey, you don't need to anymore. It's 2023. Better living through science, better living through technology. There is a world of safer nicotine products out on the market for you. In the description of this video, I'm gonna put links to just science and just education. Yes, this has been a Grim Green video. Let's stay smoke free, literally every single day. <coughs> it's like 10.30 and I'm uh, just gonna smoke, so.